Hello YouTube fans and welcome to Retire in Lake Chapala, where we provide you with all the information you need to make informed decisions about moving to Lake Chapala. In fact, uh, Katie, I might even say that Retire in Lake Chapala are the only four words you need to know for moving to Lake Chapala. Wouldn't you agree? 100%. Yeah, we're here to provide you with the information you need to make your best decisions. You got that right. We got tons of information. We got a book on uh, Amazon Kindle. And uh, we have a, a fleet of uh, recommended uh, professionals who are going to help uh, make, you, uh, make this transition for you as easy as possible. Stay tuned uh, to, for the end of this video. We're going to have a little uh, his, uh, what would you call it? He says, he, he says, she says. We'll call it that. And uh, we'll talk about this house from a woman's perspective and from a guy's perspective and uh, let you know our thoughts on this beautiful, beautiful Mexican home. And let's uh, tell us about this home, Katie. Sure. We are in a gated community of 15 homes. It's called Chula Mission Chula Vista. We're right off the Libramento, which is a bypass that goes from Chapala to Aikihi. Um, this is a very desirable neighborhood. They are known to keep things very well maintained. It's clean, beautiful, uh, manicured. Uh, common spaces and this house is uh, two bedroom two bath it's priced at four hundred and sixty nine thousand five hundred US dollars um, it has amazing views through uh, most of the house you can see from most rooms the lake and um, it's fully solar so you have next to nothing in the way of electric bills uh, a water purification and what am I missing <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of extra interesting features in this home and I, you know, I like the fountain in the back, I like the, uh, the outdoor kitchen, I like the uh, fire pit. You're going to see all that in the video. It's a beautiful, beautiful Mexican home with great views in a great location in Ahihik. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look. All right, let's go. So as Katie mentioned, Mission Chula Vista is ideally located on the Libramiento. Going a short distance down this direction, we come to the Walmart and then off westward, we'll go to Ahihik. And right here we have San Antonio with uh, shops like Super Lake and uh, all its uh, restaurants. Uh, you'll find uh, Laguna Mall right here in the corner, another place you'd like to go to for the cinema and also the outdoor food court. And then heading off in this direction, we go a uh, sh very short distance into Chapala and then also to Guadalajara Airport and Guadalajara itself. So Mission Chula Vista, great location. You can see that this is a very, very small gated community. The gate here is right uh, here on my right hand side. And it's just a single street and a short street here down to the common area. Here is this lovely common area that is part of the, uh, the community. And we have this gorgeous pool here and also a lovely and very inviting clubhouse uh, with uh, bathrooms in this palapa. This is a really nice palapa and it's in great shape. Super, super nice. So come on down and uh, have some uh, friends over and enjoy the life of Lake Chapel. So this is the home as we come up uh, this uh, short driveway. We have uh, parking here and a carport for two cars and lots of storage in this carport as well. We've got some storage on the left and storage on the right. You can see the inverter in the back there for the solar panels. And that door leads uh, directly into the kitchen, which is awesome to bring your groceries in. Door for your gardener to get through the back there. Awesome, glad you pointed that out, uh, Katie. That is really important to have uh, a separate gardener's entrance. Absolutely. Go ahead and take us into the house, Katie, and let's uh, have a look at this Mexican gym. This house has loads of charm. Great alcove as you come through. And a soaring yeah. ceiling here, right? Eh? Okay. Walk into this beautiful cupola, two story. That is a beautiful, beautiful cupola at the very top. And we have lots of uh, light coming in through this window. And a very unique uh, round window here as we come into the entrance with an absolutely gorgeous view. Take us into the living area, Katie, and let's have a look. Immediately we come into the living room. 
sitting area. There's a gas fireplace, nice and cozy for the cooler months. But then the hotter months, you can see we also have AC right here in this first room, so a mini split. Glad you pointed that out. Uh, a lot of people want AC, especially the, the new people coming down. We do have some hot months here in April and May, so Absolutely. nice to have. Yeah, so you can see it's open concept. The living room dining, and this is a nice big space. You can get a fair amount of people around the table, and there's also seating for four right at the breakfast bar, which leads us into this gorgeous modern kitchen. I love this kitchen, Katie. This is really, really nicely done. Beautiful cabinetry in this kitchen and lots and lots of counter space. Yes. Quality cabinets, quality counters. The appliances are all nice. This is a very good workspace. And there's that door that I mentioned that comes into from the garage. Yeah. Uh, so super convenient to bring all your groceries in. That's right. You've been to Costco and you've got all your big detergent and paper towels. You don't have far to go. They have a microwave there with the uh, range hood underneath. Mm -hmm. uh, nice, convenient uh, space saver, that is. That's right. And you're right at the entrance to an office there, Katie. Right. Have a look at that. Right behind me here is a really nice office. They've got it outfitted for two people to have their own workspace. So this is a really good space just right off the kitchen. That's super convenient and it's nice. Uh, I don't want to be... Uh, Sexist, but uh, the guy could be working in here, the woman could be in the kitchen, hey, or it could be the other <laughs> way around. Versa. Could be vice versa <laughs> nowadays, too. So. That's right. <laughs> I certainly enjoy being in the kitchen myself, and uh, I'd probably be the one in the kitchen. <laughs> well, we do have a, a bedroom on this main floor and a full bath. That's super so. important to have. Uh, a lot of us who are older now, uh, if we run into an accident or something, uh, heaven forbid, uh, it's nice to have the option of having the bedroom on the lower floor. Okay. This is a really, really nice bathroom. It is. Again, quality finishes. The cabinetry is really nice. Great countertops. It's a walk-in shower. And then the water closet's tucked in behind. Nice large shower. Yeah. Super nice with a glass door front. Mm-hmm. And a bathroom with, if you had a walker or a wheelchair or something, there's no step up. A lot of bathrooms have a step up. Great point. Yeah. I like these little niches they've done here too. This is a beautiful Mexican feature. Yeah. So much character. Yeah. You know you're in a Mexican home. Feels good. A whole wall of storage in this secondary bedroom and great natural light. Sliding glass door, almost the whole wall out to the garden. That is gorgeous. To have that birds of paradise right outside right. the guest suite, I think you'll have to pry your guests out of the bed to get them <laughs> out of here. Yeah, sitting in bed, you can see the lake. Yeah, excellent views from this home, and uh, there's the lake. Uh, it is rainy season. We've got a lot of low cloud today. It might even uh, thunder shower this afternoon. Uh, but we've got excellent lake views here from this home. Really gorgeous. It is. And both of the ceilings in this room as well with the ceiling fan. Yeah. All right. Shall we work our way upstairs? Let's go and have a look. All right. We'll check out the terrace at the end. It's a gorgeous terrace with great views. Because we have such nice weather year round, that would be used all year. You can see the floor is uh, the, the uh, Saltillo tile floor. Uh, really gorgeous and in excellent uh, condition, I must say. Okay, up here we have the principal bedroom with another uh, gorgeous uh, Boveda ceiling here, a ceiling fan. It's beautiful. And this room is air conditioned as well, I see. Absolutely, it feels wonderful. <laughs> All right. After the gorgeous ceiling, the big focal point is this window out to the lake. No kidding, you got that right, Katie. This is a gorgeous view out here. It's beautiful, yeah. And I imagine if you don't have the AC going, you've got a good air that would come through these windows. Yeah, these windows open up to the side and uh, you'd get great airflow here. Mm -hmm. And we've got another gas fireplace. Very, very nice. I like a fireplace in the bedroom. Yeah. Pop that on in the morning uh, in the winter time when it's a bit cool, just and for an hour or so. And then want to get out of the bed, right? <laughs> and then that's right, you won't want to get out of the bed. <laughs> well, we've got a great ensuite bath over here. It's Huge, you can have a party. You have dual sinks. 
Again, the same beautiful quality cabinetry and countertops. Even a chandelier. Mm -hmm. Nice tall ceilings here too. Yeah. With the wooden beams, I like that. So, in here, we've got a, soak, a soaker tub. Oh, that's a beauty. Really nice, yeah. A lot of um, homes in Mexico are only showers, so when you get a nice big tub, that's a treat. Nice to have that option, a uh, soaker tub, and they also, of course, have the large shower here on my right. That's right. And, and uh, the water closet's its own separate room. Right. Lighted in this room, too, I noticed, so lots of natural light coming in here. Really beautiful. And up here on this level with, uh, with the master suite, you've got your own private balcony that looks out to the lake. Well, look at that. Yeah. Isn't hers chair sitting there just waiting for you? That's right. And uh, absolutely fantastic lake views from this uh, small balcony off the master bedroom. Let's go down and have a look at the great views in the backyard. The terrace. Out on the terrace here, this is what I love. I love this outdoor kitchen. Uh, with barbecue and I see they got two bar fridges here as well. Beautiful, beautiful area. That's right. When it's warmer and you don't want to heat up the kitchen, you can get your meal done out here. Great for entertaining. I like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, a big seating area. It, it's fantastic. Cozy. It's yeah. really beautiful back here. Yeah. It is. Nice place to sit and chat and have a cocktail. And what's in the backyard? Okay. We've got a couple of nice features. One, there's a fire pit. I love that. And built-in bench seating with a place to set down your glass of wine or cocktail. Good point. <laughs> and then a fountain. So you've got that nice soothing sound of water. Lovely, lovely backyard. And uh, being a Canadian, you know, we like to sit around the campfire. <laughs> and uh, that's, a, that's a really nice feature back here. It is. Beautiful, beautiful backyard. Of the lake view. Absolutely, no question about that. The lake view is just great, absolutely great. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, next up, we're going to have the his and hers uh, wrap up. Welcome to our wrap up segment of He Says, She Says. And uh, we're going to start off with Katie here and uh, have a woman's perspective on this home. All right. Well, there's some really fantastic features in this home. Um, I've got to start with the, the ensuite bath upstairs off the principal bedroom. That tub is so inviting. I can just imagine being there, lighting your candle, filling it with bubbles. It's just fantastic. Uh, there's also a lot of storage up there for all of your clothes and shoes. Uh, one other feature that we didn't necessarily show in the video, but I want to point out is the laundry is up there, which is so nice. You're not schlepping your laundry hamper down some stairs. It's right there, pulled out of the dryer and you're right back in your, your closet. So those are all nice features. But then um, lastly, before leaving that upstairs space would be that that fireplace and the cool months would be really nice. It gets snug in your bed and light that up. Um, then as you head downstairs, uh, let's see, I would say that that kitchen is gorgeous. So if you enjoy cooking, then you're in a really lovely space. And if you like entertaining, I mean, either indoors or outdoors, there's ample space to do that. What did you, what was appealing to you, Ricardo? Well, from a guy's perspective, Katie, I would say, uh, you know, it's really nice to have solar yeah. energy. I've got no bills. Uh, I like to keep my uh, expenses down. So having the solar panels and having no electric bills, that's fantastic. And other than that, as I mentioned in the video, you know, I'm Canadian. I love that fire pit uh, sitting around the fireplace there. And uh, who can't enjoy that gorgeous outdoor kitchen uh, with two bar fridges and uh, that barbecue. I mean, you can really set up there to enjoy life uh, outdoors with that great lake view. Absolutely. Great features. Thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you next time.